Today on Seamless Integration, we're going to talk about how to check your settings and perhaps reconnect to a network using a Crestron TPMC4 or a TPMC4XG remote control. Um, the way that this one is configured is we have an icon that Crestron provides that allows you to touch sensitively, flip over into the settings. So what you're looking for here is you're going to take the cursor out of the bottom of the remote. You're going to, in this case, touch this cursor that we have on the screen. These cursors won't always be here. It depends on your programmer. Once there, it flips you into the setup screen. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to press the Wi-Fi access point button, which you can also do with the screen. And then we're currently connected to an access point. And the first thing you're going to have here is you, you can't really see it in this in this video, but there are tabs at the top here. So the top, very top of the screen is going to say YLAN settings. And then right below that you have tabs. Status, config, IP, advanced, and then there's an arrow button that allows you to toggle through some other stuff that you don't really need to perhaps mess with here. So status will indicate whether or not you're connected to the access point that you need to be connected to. In this case, the name of the access point that you need to be connected to is Rogers Control. That's listed as the SSID. And then down below, you go down a couple of images here and you see strength, which indicates the signal strength of the connection. So it's letting us know that we have a fairly strong signal here. Um, down below this IP address. This is the IP address of the remote control. This is not really something that you need to worry about unless for some reason someone has gotten into these settings and accidentally changed that. Um, if you are not connected, the next thing you can do is you can go over into config and in this window up here you can, you'll see a list of all of the available networks. So if you're not connecting, you flip over to config, and then you look for the corresponding network, which again in this case is Rogers Control. And you select it, and then there's a button here that will appear that says connect. You press connect, and it should connect you to the right network. Once you're finished that, you go back up to here, you hit this OK button. Takes a minute for it to flip over. Sometimes you might have these indicator bars as we have here. The indicator bar up here in this case shows a signal strength. The signal strength on these things um, it is not always all that accurate. For instance, here it shows that there's barely any signal, but then if you flip over into the access point signal strength, you'll see that it's got like 60% signal. So don't always go by the signal strength indicator here. It's not, it's not accurate on these devices. If they have programmed in this little icon, the Swirly Crestron logo, um, when you are connected, you should have it should be illuminated green. If you're not connected, it will likely be illuminated red. Um, sometimes you'll actually get a yellow illumination as well, depending on the device. <clears throat> Once you've done that, again, you go down here and then you'll hit save and exit. And this saves everything. and then you should be all connected up. <clears throat>